Hello everyone, I'm Alex Rothman. And I'm Liam Fabray, and this is Stream News. Disney has launched a new streaming service called Star that will be available in Europe, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. The new platform will host content targeted towards adults and includes movies, television, and TV shows from Disney, Studios, FX, 20th Century, and more. You won't be finding any Pixar movies on this app, though. It's for mommy and daddy only, kids. In other Disney news, Disney Plus has put out a disclaimer on their platform for the 1970s variety show, The Muppet Show, saying that the children's show includes negative depictions and mistreatment of people or cultures. Rather than removing this content, Disney has chosen to acknowledge its harmful impact in hopes that it will lead to a more inclusive future. The Swedish chef simply responded, beef born, beef boof, morph, morph, when asked for a comment. Roku has had their strongest quarter ever, with their shares rising more than 3% after the release of their fourth quarter financial results. Roku has reported a 58% increase in revenue earnings per share. Thanks, COVID. After being canceled due to the 2020 coronavirus pandemic, BlizzCon Line 2021 happened over this past weekend. The event was completely virtual and was live streamed on Twitch and featured a performance by Metallica. This is one benefit of going virtual. You can cosplay from the comfort of your own home. Liam, please share with the audience how your dwarf costume from uh, World of Warcraft is going. I'm still working on it. Good news for all you audio nerds. Spotify has announced the launch of their new streaming tier, Hi-Fi, that delivers music and CD quality, lossless audio format. Spotify Hi-Fi will be available later this year and will compete against services like Tidal and Quobus. Now I can jam to Taylor Swift's new album. I mean, um, Ariana Grande's new album. I mean, Car Cardi B. The weekend. Say the weekend. Right, the weekend. WhatsApp is moving forward with their controversial changes to its terms of service despite backlash it has received from its users. Users who do not accept the privacy policy by May 15th will not be able to send messages or make calls. Now, your local FBI agent will be able to see all your private WhatsApp messages. Liam, um, <clears throat> make sure you delete those messages between you and you know who. Right, right, I'll we'll get right on that. <clears throat> graphics card maker NVIDIA announced that it will deliberately reduce the efficiency of its latest graphic cards by 50% if it is used to mine the cryptocurrency Ethereum. NVIDIA explained that their products should end up in the hands of gamers rather than cryptocurrency miners. Dang it, my mining operation is ruined. Thanks, gamers. What mining operation? Like, you can barely work TikTok. I'm getting there. Okay. Discovery has announced that it expects to have 12 million global paid streaming subscribers by the end of February 2021. Discovery specializes in unscripted programming, unlike competitors Netflix and Disney+. Shout out to the king, Guy Fieri, for single-handedly carrying Discovery Plus on the shoulders of Flavortown. Paris-born electronic music duo Daft Punk have officially broken up after 28 years. Daft Punk had many accomplishments over the years, including an unforgettable Coachella Music Festival performance and numerous Grammy Awards. Four went out for the OG of electronic music. Man, I'm bummed that they're gone. But you know what I was thinking is that you and I can replace them. Yeah, you'll just wear the big pad over your face, right? That's, that's actually a pretty good idea. Stream Media will be participating in the 28th Convergence India Expo in Delhi, March 24 through 26. Stream's CEO, Gio Punzo, commented, We are thrilled. Participating in the Convergence India Expo is a huge step that positions us as leaders in media innovation. We are honored and determined to keep pushing the boundaries of the industry further. Stream's clients include NBC, Europa Mass, Kirtle TV, Almaj TV, as well as Crayon OTT and Hyflix in India. What's next for Stream? Well, tune in each week to find out. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next week on Stream News.